Hey guys, welcome to the photo department. And this is just a test episode, kind of. I'm basically trying out the new cinema camera rig that I just started building. And before I tell you what the camera and rig is, I'll just give you a little backstory as to why I actually decided to do this. I've been working on some film and video sets recently and I'm um, starting to realize that I really enjoy the cinema world and I really enjoy the workflow and the inspiration behind, um, you know, making films. The more I got involved, the more I also started to realize that uh, a lot of my work with stills photography and specifically film has been really influenced by movies and by really interesting films and you know my favorite movies to watch and why they are my favorite movies and it just made sense that you know um, I've been trying to reconstruct these stories in one frame like I'm taking a single frame from a movie from a scene and telling that story with that single frame uh, it just makes sense to kind of move on to actually trying to be a filmmaker um, I'm just starting and starting from square one and I thought it'd be cool to bring you guys on that journey and I decided if I was going to be serious about trying filmmaking I needed to kind of build myself a rig that would allow me to do that and to learn and then to continue uh, this kind of journey as a new filmmaker. So when I decided I wanted to build a cinema rig I was thinking about what kind of camera I should get and at first I settled on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K because it's just an amazing camera. A lot of people who are great cinematographers use them. Um, they're very powerful. They have a lot of great features uh, and they're very affordable, but it's a smaller sensor. It's micro four thirds. I don't own any micro four thirds glass. And if I just buy the camera body, I still have to buy lenses and a cage and like all these accessories for it. So that was going to add up pretty quickly. Um, and then I realized, you know, why don't I buy a camera that I have intimate knowledge of and experience with already that is also a very powerful video camera. So I settled on the Fuji X-T2. You guys might know that I already owned one um, last year and I sold it earlier this year. I decided to go back to it because the capabilities of this camera are just fantastic. It just made sense to go back to the X-T2 because it already fits into my Fujifilm kind of workflow and I'm already shooting with the X-Pro2 anyway all the time uh, for my professional work. So it, it really literally fits right in. I have all my Fuji camera accessories. I have my Fuji glass. I have all the adapters for my Nikon, my Pentax, my Canon lenses that I have lying around. So I have um, so many different options already available to this camera. I love adapting vintage lenses. So that's probably what I'm gonna be doing most of the time. It's not really a professional cinema camera per se. It's a hybrid camera, but since I'm a stills photographer, this is just really comfortable for me. And uh, I can go between photos and video really quickly, which is uh, a plus. I found a really great deal on this camera. I got the camera, the battery grip, and a small rig cage with a handle all together for way less than a thousand bucks, which is like such a good deal. Now I'm ready to kind of build it out to be a capable cinema rig. My goal with this was to make something that was really professional, even if it's entry level. I didn't want to be like those hype beast videographer guys who go around and I don't know, have their trendy Sony cameras and gimbals and stuff. Like that's not my style. I'm not interested in that. I don't like gimbals really. Um, I really love handheld. So what I want to do is build a shoulder rig that you can easily pull the shoulder pad off and make into a handheld rig. Cause I want to be shooting more editorial narrative and documentary style films. And so I don't want, I don't need it to be perfectly smooth and glidey. Cause I think that looks goofy. Everyone does it. Um, I want it to look, real and feel like you're in the action or you feel like you're there. So that's kind of my goal with this rig. First thing I bought for this rig is the Andy Cine 4K monitor. Caleb from DSLR Video Shooter had a lot of great things to say about this monitor. And so I picked one up. It is crazy inexpensive and very feature rich. I would say it's got false color and all this kind of stuff. I'm not going to review this right now, but the point is it's great. I'm really glad I picked this up. Um, I've had it for a full day only, but so far so good. It looks really great. I'm using it right now so I can see myself. Hi. Next thing I'm going to do is probably figure out a handle situation and get a V-mount battery plate and battery on the back with the shoulder pad so I can really balance the rig out. I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a mat box of some sort. I'm going to need rails. I'm going to need all sorts of stuff. 
Uh, like I said, I want to build it out so it's professional, but also can switch from shoulder to handheld really quickly. So um, probably going to go with mostly small rig stuff, but we'll see what I find out there. I've yet to do that much research as far as parts go, but I do know what my goal is. I'm going to start doing more projects that are video based coming up. I already have some stuff in the pipeline I'm really excited about. Uh, my YouTube videos are now going to be all shot on this, so it'll be cool, cooler. The X-Pro2 does video really well and it does great full HD video and even 4K and honestly I haven't had any complaints with it. It's been really fantastic. But it's not a video camera. It's really a stills camera that has video capability, even more so than the X-T2. So I'm gonna, that's just my stills camera now. And uh, this form factor of the X-T2 is just so much better for, for video. So that's where I'm at. I'm excited. This is gonna be really fun. If you guys are in a similar position or if you already shoot um, stills and video, uh, drop me a comment. I would love to hear from you. If you have suggestions on how to build my rig out or if you are doing something similar to me, let's talk. That might be fun. Um, if you think I'm stupid, you can tell me that too, but please don't. I'm very sensitive. I'm a Pisces and uh, I'm also a Cancer and another Pisces. I'm a Pisces, Cancer, Pisces. Someone told me. I don't know what it means exactly, but it means I'm, I know it means I'm mostly I'm like all water signs which means I'm a crybaby or at least very sensitive so don't tell me I'm stupid I will take it to heart and it'll haunt me forever so yeah all right yeah I'm really excited to uh, show you guys stuff coming up so follow me on this journey it'll be really interesting and hopefully I don't crash and burn all right cool I'm gonna go um, edit some video Goodbye.